one of the things of walking the same streets every day is finding new things of interest in a very familiar landscape. My favourite definition of psychogeography comes from the rock critic Braille Marcus and he describes the derive, the practice of psychogeographic walking. He describes it as uh, encountering the unknown facets of the known, astonishment in the face of boredom and innocence in the face of experience. And that's what you get when you walk the same streets again and again and again and all the time you see new things. It's got to be something for me in there, isn't there? Look at that beautiful bit of Art Deco inspired municipal architecture. The old Harrow Green Library, sadly closed now. The downstairs is still open as a children's centre. There's a whole unofficial roof garden along this part of Leightonstone High Road. Look at those, there's those weeds up there are really beautiful. Langthorne Park. The name comes from the old abbey of Stratford Langthorne down in West Ham. I believe Langthorne comes from Longthorn, as in hedges of long thorns that were grown around the abbey. It's a fantastic amphitheatre here in Glancorn Park. It's like a miniature Colosseum. mosaic at the centre of the amphitheatre. So this park is built on the old grounds of the Langthorne Hospital, but the hospital itself is built in land that was owned by Langthorne Abbey, which dates from the 12th century. And you can see so, the remains of some of the buildings of the Abbey down at the community garden in West Ham. So Langthorne Hospital was originally built as a workhouse I think in the 1830s or the 1840s and then it became an infirmary like a, a geriatric hospital and then it eventually closed I think in the in the 80s or the 90s it's interesting that the hospital was originally part of the uh, urban district of West Ham it was the West Ham Union workhouse but now it is in Waltham Forest, so at some point it got transferred over into Waltham Forest from what became Newham. It sits now right on the border of Leightonstone. This is another Leightonstone landmark, like the Fred Wig and John Walsh Towers and the Hollow Ponds. These places that mark the border of Leightonstone. Chapel built in 
when you see the old Victorian workhouses, they don't really fit that image of kind of grim Dickensian London, do they? Sort of Oliver Twist world. They're really quite grand and beautiful buildings, considering, like I say, they were built for the poor and the destitute. Fantastic old lamp. <laughs> 